Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So um, in this video, I'm going to have a quick run through what's been going on with Alien World. So I've maybe got a little bit obsessed with Alien Worlds over the last kind of month, um, certainly last week. Um, so Alien Worlds is a is an idle game uh, working on the Wax blockchain. And the reason I've got a bit obsessed with it is 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 this graph, really. So, so this is the growth rate. So this is from that radar. The data is from that radar. And this is the, the daily active unique wallet. So this is basically for every 24 hour period, um, how many unique wallets are interacting effectively with the smart contracts in the game? How many how many wallets are playing the game? So we can't say that's users because we don't know um, how many uh, you could have obviously multiple wallets. Um, so so um, what's been really interesting about Alien Worlds is it's an idle game. So it's sort of very boring as a game at the moment. That's partly because it's in the early stages of development. So there's more features coming in that will make it more interesting. At the moment, all you can do is you can mine this token, the TLM token, Trillium, they call it. Um, and the Trillium token's just gone live on Binance, so there's lots of kind of interest in people whether, whether this token is going to be worth a lot of money. Um, so, so this is sort of what's driving. This is kind of the flywheel that's driving this, this growth. So we can see here, you know, the game was growing. It was already the, the, the most popular blockchain game. So um, at the start of April, it had gone through 25,000 daily uh, unique active wallets. So that, that's a lot. Um, we've not really had games more than 10,000 uh, daily active unique wallets um, until 2021. We've seen a few uh, two games. Uh, go through that barrier but we have this really weird change here so we can see after 20 there's 25,000 active wallets on a day we're suddenly going up here and we're still growing this is the figures from, for today so we've gone through 100,000 daily active unique wallets in a day so in, in, a, in a period of you know less than a week the, the the it looks like the number of people playing this game has gone up four times which which is which is very rapid you know we've never had a game to 100,000 unique active wallets we, in fact this is this is now the most active um, dApp <laughs> across any blockchain. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but because the game is, is you know, it's not really a game. It, it, you know, I think even the developers would say at the moment it's a, you know, it's sort of sort of um, a prototype almost. I mean, you know, it's not a game you'd want to play. It's not exciting to play. The only reason you would want to play is that, is that you can mine out this token and then potentially you can sell the token. So, um, so that's, uh, you know, that could be lots of people are coming in to, to mine this token, um, even in very small amounts, um, uh, and they think they're making money. So there, there could be a kind of argument that this is real people playing it, but because it's running on the Wax blockchain, and the Wax blockchain, like 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 any other proof of stake blockchain, is you don't need, you don't pay for transaction fees. So basically, um, you have to stake tokens, or the developer stakes tokens for each wallet, and then you get a certain amount of sort of bandwidth in the blockchain. Um, so unlike Ethereum, where if you want to do a transaction, you have to pay gas fees, that stops people um, doing silly. Uh, transactions or, or using bots to just run multiple um, transactions because you have to pay for every transaction on ethereum and, and ethereum gas fees are super high at the moment so no one would unless unless they're really earning a lot of money on the other side of the um of the transaction you know, people wouldn't be kind of spamming ethereum but on, on wax um pretty cheap uh, coin um and it looks like my gut feeling about this growth was there's lots of bots going on so i've been tweeting about that hopefully not in a mean way but um i wanted to look into the figures a little bit more so what I, I got the figures from that radar and from that radar you get the daily activity and you also get the transactions and um, so the number of transactions so this is what we see when we see transactions so this is the number of interactions with the smart contracts that underpin uh, alien worlds this is basically the, the people so the two things the two transactions you do in, in alien worlds uh, mainly are mining and then when you mine you claim your tokens and then you wait um, for a cool down period then you mine again there may be some other transactions around adding nfts but basically you do that sort of once um you know probably once a month or something um and this is basically people people mining out this token so we can see here as we'd expect we, you know we've seen in this chart you know very strong growth so we expect to see if there's more wallets playing we expect to see more transactions so so we do see that higher and higher and then we have this this peak and then this sudden drop um and then we're sort of back to where we started so what's been happening here um so on on the this is the 10th of uh, April and this is the 11th of April so if you can see here this is where the big drop happens uh, and this is where the game introduces recapture so recapture are those annoying little things that sometimes pop up um, and you have to like click in that it says I'm not a robot and you have to kind of click on it it's like a, like an extra step um, to uh, to to any sort of you know sometimes when you're loading web pages or something and uh, and some of them also have that little those little boxes come up and you have to kind of click on fire hydrants or click on cars or boats or something like that so that's recapture recapture is just a way of stopping spam effectively on on the internet so the Alien World developers added recapture to to their game loop, um, and you can see immediately there is this kind of drop off. So as I say, recapture is designed to stop bots because bots uh, are just automated, um, you know, kind of click click bots almost. You know, they are just clicking. But if you say to a to a bot, 
you know, click on the fire hydrant, then, you know, unless it's a very clever bot, <laughs> um, obviously you haven't got a clue what a fire hydrant is. It's not, it's not got um, kind of computer vision. So you see this, you know, incredible drop off uh, because basically here you're getting rid of all the bots because bots can't deal with recapture. And in fact, uh, they put recapture on the wax blockchain as well. So not only did did Alien Worlds get recapture, the, the entire wax blockchain, as far as I could see, for the things I was interacting with, on, um, they put in recapture on that as well. So they basically, yeah, like a real, a real kind of ban hammer on bots, really trying to clear it all out. And we can see it sort of works. So the transactions actually dropped by um, about eight, 90%, 89%, I think, dropped. Um, but what, what's even more interesting is this funnel graph. So here we're looking at the average transactions per wallet. So we're just dividing, um, you know, the, those two numbers. We're looking at the number of transactions divided by the number of wallets on a daily basis. And we can see here, even at the start of the curve, before we had this crazy growth spurt um, in, on the 4th of April or whenever it was, um, you know, there's still there's 200 transactions uh, per wallet a day. Uh, now that that's a lot. So um, if you're playing, if I if I, so if you're playing the game um, just with the, the the kind of lowest level of NFTs uh, equipped, the kind of ones you get for free, I think it's about every every four minutes you have to you can you can click. Um, so uh, you know, so 200. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't mess now. So um, but but basically, you know, can you imagine clicking on something? You know, I, mean, I guess if you're if you're mining and claiming, that would be uh, that would count as two transactions. Um, I guess um, maybe maybe it's only counts as one because you're you, it's only when you're claiming the TLL that you're actually doing the transaction. I'm not I'm not quite sure how the game is set up in terms of smart contracts, but basically you know we're we're seeing it going from 200 transactions per wallet a day um, over to about 330 331 was was the was the peak here. Recapture comes in and we see that this again totally you know, collapses. Um, uh, uh, so actually yeah, uh, tell, tell a lie. So I think this dropped 70 percent. Um, and, and this uh, this was the one that dropped um, 80, um, 89 percent. And we, actually, we can see here what's interesting is is when this recapture comes in and all the bots get kicked out, we can see that the, it's the bots not only are driving um, this graph. So this graph's still going up. So there's still loads of bots, um, you know, in, in in the game. There's still loads of active wallets. But what? But the amount of transactions each each wallet is doing has dropped off, and we've gone from like three hundred and thirty one down to about thirty thirty one. And we can see, you know, we can imagine, you know, human beings, I imagine, can click on this game, you know, 31 times a day. I can imagine that. It's a bit extreme, uh, but I could imagine people clicking, you know, clicking on, on, a, on a game 10, 20, you know, on a button 10, 20 times, you know, getting their, getting their uh, mining, mining their trillium. I can imagine that. 300 times, you basically have to be like sort of awake 24, 24 7 to, to click that amount of times. So clearly this is, this is bots. This is, uh, this is bots being driven out of the game system. And this is, this is now humans. So, you know, in a sense, it's good. Recapture has, has done what it's designed to do. Um, so we're still seeing this growth, but this headline growth now is, is kind of meaningless because these are just bots. They can just add, you know, can add a million bots on. Um, it doesn't really matter. And in fact, this, this graph will probably get higher. You can see it did drop off and then it increased again. So, so sort of maybe one way that they're trying to deal with this recapture is just add more bots on to just mine out and then they can't do, and maybe then humans have to come in and do the recapture, but then you're adding a human system into it. So, um, you know, it, it has worked. It's driven down... The number of bots because obviously why people would run bots is bots are mining out this this uh this trillium token and then they're just selling it on exchanges for you know for other cryptocurrencies so wax or probably binance now that's on the binance chain so people are taking this kind of this game money and selling it for kind of what they think is better money probably is it would say kind of binance the bnb token is better money than trillium but they now the amount, the amount they're taking out is, is massively reduced because um the, the transact the number of transactions has gone down you know 80 percent eight and 90 percent so the, the amount of the amount of um, money they can, the trillion they can extract from the game, um, it, it's also gone down as well. So, I mean, that's good. This is what the game designers would want. It's kind of worked out. Um, it also shows looking behind the numbers. It's not just not just kind of the headline growth that we want to need to look at. We need to look at actually what these wallets are doing in the game. Um, obviously, you probably could do some analysis about looking at flows of the trillion token on, sort of on chain on the on the Wax blockchain and and um, now Binance Smart Chain. That would be more complex. So I haven't done that. But the other kind of conclusion that, that I, I sort of draw from it and I kind of um, um, kind of stress to people is when you're making a blockchain game and certainly one that has a token that can be easily extracted. Um, and certainly this is a, you know, at the moment, Alien Worlds is a, is a idle game. So it's very easy to bot. And if you have something that's very easy to bot and you have a value, uh, you know, a, a, a token with some sort of value attached to it that people can extract. No surprise, people are going to build <laughs> bots and extract as much value. They're going to basically just try and destroy your game by extracting all the tokens and selling them off um, for, for other money. So this is this is sort of a warning. Um, you know, um, Alien Worlds, you know, I, I think it, the problem here was not 
so much the design of the game initially, but they they went on Binance when they had a game that 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 you know had no defense against bots. So so they had a game that was kind of operating quite well, but no one really cared about it. And no one was building big bot farms because because you know, you couldn't you couldn't. It was very hard to offload the tokens. There wasn't many exchanges that that offered pairs of that token. When you go on Binance. You just have billions of dollars of, 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 of token value sloshing around looking for looking for um, you know, investable opportunities. And basically, that's 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 what drove, I believe, um, lots of people who have, you know, obviously, if you have a bot farm, there's lots of the things you can do with your bot farm and you're looking for them for the most valuable things to do. And if a new opportunity comes on, you might have, you know, hundreds of computers sitting in a server somewhere in, I don't know, wherever it is. Um, somewhere with cheap electricity, I guess. Um, and, and you might go, well, I'll, I'll just set my bot farm to do this and, and, and earn some money. Then something else comes along and you switch it off. So so developers do need to be very careful. Bots are all over blockchain games. You know, it's just, it's just how it is. It's a blockchain. You know, it's computer it's, you know, it's computer systems. It's computer money. You know, people are going to bot it. You have to think of ways of, of uh, you know, being resistive, resistive to it in some cases. And also, you know, if people want to run bots in your game, that's great. You know, if they're running, you know, effectively they're, they're sort of, potentially running your NFTs in a game, your, 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 your NPCs in a game. If you can get someone else to use their computer power to, to make your game more popular and have more characters in there, great. Um, so we have, to, we have to be clever. This is the conclusion I draw from this. And I'm still looking forward to Alien Worlds. I think there's some interesting stuff that they're doing in there. I think they just caught got, got caught in this in this kind of they got too popular, which is a, sort of a problem we have with blockchain at the moment. Lots of lots of eyes are on it, and and uh, lots of uh, compute power and lots of value can be deployed into these into these systems, which they're not necessarily designed to do. Anyway, that's enough of my obsession. <laughs> Hopefully, it's over now. Uh, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World, where I spend my time um, slightly obsessing obsessing about blockchain games. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Uh, but thanks for watching and see you again soon.